Our oceans are some of the most interesting places on our planet, mainly because various regions are unexplored. This leaves a huge number of artifacts lying beneath them that humans haven't seen in hundreds or thousands of years. Different archaeological discoveries have been made under our oceans that have caused us to re-evaluate our history and what our ancestors were capable of. Different ancient cities have been found beneath the waves, not only showing us that we still have a lot to learn, but also showing that whole civilizations could be submerged. The most recent discovery that's been made using NASA's satellite is this strange object that appears to be moving beneath the ocean floor. Interestingly, a similar object was found a while back, but this one appears to have turned around 90 degrees on the sea floor. Taking measurements will show you that this structure is massive. It measures in at 21.45 kilometers, or 13.3 miles in length. What people can't seem to explain though is how such a large object is able to do a 90 degree turn. Not only that, but it's also gone on to travel for a few miles after this. Some UFO believers also find it interesting that at the end of this trail, you can see what looks like a disc. This shape is synonymous with UFOs, being one of the most commonly shaped UFOs out there. One believer said the following, This photograph is interesting because not only can we see what looks like a massive skid mark, but we can also see what appears to be a UFO at the end, or should I say a USO? These USOs are not as common as UFOs, but there's debate within the community whether these types of crafts are the same. UFOs are seen around large bodies of water, and USOs have been reported on a number of occasions coming out of the ocean. So some researchers have said that UFOs have the ability to go in and out of the water, or some think that the two are different. End quote. It's interesting to see an object at the end of what appears to be a skid mark. Normally these features don't have anything at the end, and when first viewing this photograph it does look like this object could have caused the large skid mark behind it. What's strange about this though is that those who've seen the images have also noticed that the areas above and below the structure look to be blurred out, saying that is it possible that NASA have gone in and done this themselves? It's known that NASA touch up or edit photographs before they're released to the public. This could be because when we're talking about Google Earth, certain regions need to be blurred out for security reasons. There's a few places that you can't view due to them being top secret. This can include things like government buildings or top secret locations that are off limits to the public. But why then would they go out of their way to blur something in the ocean? Theorists who spend time looking at these images have given their ideas as to why they would do this. One person said the following, It's strange when you find a structure of interest in the ocean, only to find out that it's been blurred out. And isn't it a coincidence that it seems to be blurred out at the exact point where there seems to be something of interest? In terms of these objects, it's always blurred towards the top and bottom of the trails meaning that we can't see if there's any more of these objects nearby. Various times NASA has been seen doing this, but all it does is make us question what they're trying to hide. End quote. This photograph also reminded some of the mysterious Baltic Sea anomaly that was discovered a few years back. The Baltic Sea anomaly has a 60 meter diameter and can be found lying on the floor of the Northern Baltic Sea. It was discovered by Peter Lindbergh, Dennis Asberg and the Swedish Oceanex diving team, and this was back in June 2011. The team made this discovery while they were looking for an old shipwreck. As they passed over the objects though, they received a mysterious reading. They'd never seen anything like this before, and were very excited by what this object could potentially be. The group have described themselves as individuals who locate underwater treasures, and bring it back to its former glory. They specifically specialise in underwater and historic artefacts. According to Ocean Eggs, the anomaly is around 3 to 4 metres thick, and has an approximate diameter of 60 metres. Interestingly, this large object is said to be sitting on a thick 8 metre tall pillar, 
and this can be found at around 85 to 90 meters. One thing the team have noted though is that the visibility is really bad, and although 90 meters doesn't sound deep, it's really hard to see anything when you're down there. The team reported that on one of their first expeditions they started to experience some malfunctions in their equipment. They didn't think much of it, but as they passed the object everything started to work as normal again. Thinking this was just a one-off, they then went back over the object, and once again their equipment stopped working. This has caused the team to speculate that this object is giving off some kind of electromagnetic field. They've also tested this a variety of times, and every time they do this their equipment stops working. Professional diver Stefan Hoggerborn said the following, Anything electric out there and the satellite phone as well, stopped working when we was above the object. When we got around 200 meters away it turned on again, and when we went back over the object it didn't work. End quote. The team explored the object for a second time, and what they found only caused more questions. As the divers approached the object, they could see what appeared to be a dark staircase leading into the object. Interestingly, tests were sent off to try and determine what the object was made of. Steve Wiener said that according to his tests, the object was not a geological formation, and further said the structure was made from metals which nature could not reproduce herself. The Oceanex team further said that the craft looked even bigger when they were down there. Interestingly, while down there they said they could see what appeared to be a trail behind it. This is also backed up from the sonar images. This has only led to people suggesting that whatever this object is came to a stop by crashing. These skid marks can easily be seen on the ocean floor, and baffled the team when they first saw them. Outside of the object on the surface, the researchers have also reported seeing unusual carvings almost like unnatural looking shapes. The object sits at a depth of 90 meters, and water in the area is always murky, factors that make it virtually impossible to film or photograph the site. In recent years various interesting reports have come out of Russia. One that many aren't aware of is a strange object that could be seen hovering above western Siberia. Conflicting reports were made when the object was sighted, with some saying that the object looked like an unknown craft, while others were saying this thing came out of a wormhole. Other residents in the region were saying out their claims, such as they could see this thing firing a type of laser, and that this was creating an opening in the sky. This caused some to say that this object was creating the wormhole itself. One eyewitness said the following, a fireball emerged out of the sky over the city of Omsk in western Siberia, and was spotted as far as Kazakhstan. There was claims that it was an alien visit. Photographs taken from a car on Tuesday evening shows the object hovering over a superstore IKEA. It was also seen in various cities close by. Astronomers at the Planetarium of the Siberian State University of Geosystems and Technologies confirmed that it wasn't a comet. But have not ruled out if it was a meteor. End quote. Those in the region said that Siberia isn't a stranger to meteors, and that since living there they've seen several. However, they said that this object wasn't like anything that they've seen before. One resident went on to report that this object looked like an eyeball, and that it was flying around in the sky at fast speeds. It would then suddenly stop and flash a light in the sky. This light would then open up something close by, with locals saying that this opening looked like a portal. Another local pointed out that this thing seemed to be flying around in the sky, and it didn't drop to the ground. Some who didn't see the event live but have seen the images suggested that it's actually a rocket launch, saying that it matches other failed rocket launches that have been seen in the region. The locals though seem convinced that this wasn't what they were seeing. As of right now due to conflicting reports, the event remains a mystery. 
Although these types of events and encounters sound unbelievable, this isn't the only place where this type of unidentified flying object has been observed. One of the places that's known to have these types of UFOs is that of Skinwalker Ranch. Skinwalker Ranch has been a hotbed of UFO activity. It's one of the most common things that is seen here. However, before it became known as the Skinwalker Ranch, it was simply known as a ranch where the Sherman family lived in the 1990s. The Shermans tried to reach out to newspapers and other media outlets to explain their experience of the bizarre things they'd witnessed on the ranch. These tales included the mysterious vanishing of cows, crop circle-like patterns in the pasture and soils, along with countless UFO sightings. According to legend, a werewolf sighting also took place on the Skinwalker Ranch, where a farmer claims he saw the wolf attacking one of his calves. The farmer fired at the wolf without any response. The farmer then fired another shot. This time the wolf let go of the calf, but stood upright with no sign of distress. After a third shot, the wolf walked away casually, still unharmed by the multiple bullets. While living on the ranch, one family experienced multiple cattle disappearances, crop circles hearing voices calling from nowhere, objects moving by themselves and seeing strange birds and other animals on the property. Some people have even witnessed thunderbirds on the property. The thunderbird is a cryptozoological creature associated with large bird-like animals. These creatures are believed to be huge in size. Many people over the years have claimed to have witnessed them and say their giant size is unlike anything they've seen before. Terry Sherman said the following while staying here. We would see these 100 foot circular openings appear in the air. It was like four orange colored doorways that would spiral open. Looking through a high powered scope, the Shermans watched as smaller crafts would emerge from the hovering portals, fly around the property and then re-enter the doorways. The Shermans described the stealthier smaller crafts as being around 60 to 40 feet in length. The smaller crafts looked like they were a flying grid. They also appeared to emit spikes of light which hit the ground. Another eerie phenomena soon began to plague the Shermans. The family started noticing glowing blue balls moving around the property. The balls gave off a crackling sound, seemed intelligently controlled and could either hover or move unbelievably fast. One evening the Shermans watched as a blue ball approached one of their horses. The light hovered within a foot of the horse's face which spooked it immediately. From a distance of 10 feet, they shined a flashlight on the blue globe and it retreated. It then approached Terry as if inspecting him. Terry described it as a glass ball around the size of a baseball, which appeared to contain two blue fluids which intermingled with each other. These blue UFOs have been seen for decades now, but people can't seem to agree on what they are. Some say they're drone-like crafts related to UFOs, while others have said they're energy balls that are under intelligent control. Since then, other people have carried out experiments on Skinwalker Ranch, and have also seen similar things. Some have described the area as being aware, and that when you try to record these sightings, they suddenly stop. It's as if Skinwalker Ranch is alive, as of right now, those who've investigated this region have said there's something going on. What that thing is, is yet to be explained. So what do you make of this mysterious object that was seen above Russia? Do you think it was an unidentified flying object? Or was this something man-made? Be sure to leave your questions and answers in the comment section below, and help us to grow this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.